Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another look. This one right here, obviously. Um, uh, it got inspired kind of like by my shirt. Uh, initially I was gonna do like all green, and then I was gonna do all orange, and I was like, why don't we mix the two? Let's 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 do an in between, a mish mash of them both. I did a bit of like a halo cut crease type of thing. I mixed both of the techniques together, and I came out with this. Um, I really liked how it turned out. The green shadow is so beautiful, you guys. It has like pinkish pigments throughout it and then I put another one on top to kind of make the halo effect oh, I'm just obsessed with this look I really really like it obviously it makes my eyes look a little green so I love it um excuse the hair is just a little bit messy and behind but I'm trying to look put together for you guys um but yeah without rambling on and on let's go ahead and get started Okay, so I'm going to start with a soap brow technique, and I'm just going to dampen that brush, I mean the soap, <laughs> the bar of soap with a setting spray, and just brush my eyebrows upwards in the direction I want them to go and stay in um, for this look. Uh, I haven't done this look in a really, really long time, it kind of felt like having fluffy brows, so I'm just using just a normal soap and the Morphe Brow Gel Cream in the shade Chocolate Mousse and with a very thin brush I'm just doing the effect of like thin brush strokes creating like hairs as you can see there I'm just trying to create the shape right there to, for it to look very feathered out now I'm gonna zoom I'm gonna zoom I'm gonna speed up um, this bit just so you see um, what I kind of do to do both of my brows because I do take a long time trying to do this to make it look just right um, and I do clean them up with just cream concealer this is from the ultra cream contour palette by revolution and I just go under it to clean them up and then once I've done that and then I'll go over it slightly um, but I do grab the brush and blend everything in um, and you know like the brush strokes and everything so I just kind of blend everything make sure everything is nice and blended it still looks like very feathery and fluffy and bushy so yeah I needed to speed this up because like I said I do take time and I just clean up on top and the bottom and then I start with my eyes now to prime them I'm using the elf 16 hour concealer camel concealer and then I'm just using the Maybelline Superstay concealer in the shade 10 fair it's very pink so i correct with that one and i'm just blending that one out with a brush so i get the most full coverage out of that one and then with the sponge i'm just going to blend out the rest of the concealer and take off like the streaks from the brush so yeah i just do that nearly poke my eye out but you know it's cool you know it happens um so then using the jacqueline hill palette um the first one the volume one i take that very neutral um transition shade I would call it um, because it's not in the 35M Boss Made palette so I wanted something like soft to lay down first before I go in with the oranges and the greens and everything. But using that very light orange like I said I'm just gonna pack it on the outer corners and do a very orangey based look and then just pack the green in the middle bit. Now to do that I'm using the cream concealer that I use to clean up my brows and I'm just creating a kind of like a half cut crease it's not a full cut crease it's kind of like a halo too because I tried to kind of incorporate both of those techniques so you just see me there cleaning it up and minding my business it's not super neat either it's just so the color is a lot brighter now to deepen that cut crease I'm using that like warmer deeper orange and it's a lot darker as you can see there with a very fine brush to just get that fine detail that I want around the concealer and I don't get it all messy and stuff so like I'm showing you there I'm going to go in with that shade right there and it, it's a gorgeous green you guys if you could see it the camera doesn't do it justice it's just a green with purple pink flex going through it it looks beautiful there I just wet it with uh, the setting spray and then I'm gonna go in with the other shade that's a little bit lighter and just create that halo effect that I mentioned at the beginning before it looks amazing I love it um, next I'm just blending out the outer corner with that orange blending everything upwards like I said it can look really messy at first and I'm, it's, I'm mixing both techniques like halo cut crease colors and everything so it's a lot and I just it's a process but it looked fine um, there I'm just going with a tinier blending brush and just going in to the corner, blending everything out with the orange, making sure everything's nice. And then with the same brush, going into the darker shade that I used to deepen and detail that crease, that cut crease. 
I'm just gonna go in there and just deepen the socket there and then use the other brush the first brush that I used with that light orange and blend all of that out so it doesn't look all choppy and you know it's disgusting um, but yeah I'm just going in with those two warmer shades to create the outer corner because I want to also elongate my eye outwards and have that very like you know cat eye effect without necessarily doing a cat eye and I'm gonna be using browns not blacks or anything like that so it's very smoky very like earth toned I was inspired by my dress um, but I just did that to the outer corner and then I went in with the very pale shade and highlighted my inner corner next with the BH cosmetics warm brown pencil I'm just gonna tight line my top and bottom water line but I'll do the bottom water line later on I'm curling my lashes and I'm going to apply some mascara. Right there is a Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, the waterproof one, as always. And then with a wet wipe and my nail, which are the greatest tools, if you have nails on, you can use them to create that sharpness that I really like. Um, I really wanted to clean that up so it looked nice. And then I'm just cleaning the rest of the fallout there before I do my face. Now I do my face off camera because I filmed another video, but I do have to say I lost a bit of the footage where I did the first bottom lash line shade, which is just the orange, the first orange that I used at the beginning. I used to use that tiny, tiny brush and put it under my lash line. And I'm repeating essentially the same steps in the same order, so going from the lighter orange to the darker orange to the brown. So there I'm just trying to pack on a little bit more of orange. I go in with the brown the brown liner and I do it, I put it on my waterline. Damn, I can't speak, I'm so sorry guys. <laughs> then I use that darker orange and then I started packing on the dark brown from the palette. Just really, really close to my waterline because I don't want it to be super smoky. I still want to be able to see the orange. So blend and blend, pack, pack, pack. You know how it is with colors. <laughs> I just kept on doing the same thing. Then I just adjusted the inner corner highlight after I put the concealers and the rest of my face on. And now for the top part to make it look all blended and seamless, I blended a little bit more of the light orange upwards, applied a little bit of the same mascara to my bottom lash line, and then went straight onto lips. I'm using the Morphe Frenchie Lip Liner. It's a very simple lip look. I just put this lip liner and then I go into a gloss. I do overline my lips a tiny, tiny bit because I really like them how they look a little bit overlined. And as I'm doing that, I'm just applying um, some lashes. Um, I'm pretty sure those are Ardell lashes, if I'm not mistaken. I'll link them in the description box down below. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. That is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. So this is the finished look, guys. I really hope you liked it. I had a lot of fun playing with makeup. I got a bit inspired, as you can tell. Um, you know, a little bit of inspiration from the dress. Initially, I was going to do like green, orange, you know the thing. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!